Welcome to Fantasy Fanfiction, American Comics. I'm Superman and my wife is Wanda. Chapter 61 Black Widow couldn't believe that a few words could get a person into the police force. I'm afraid that the director of the New York branch does not have such ability. Could it be that Liu Feng's authority is greater than that of the director of the General Bureau? Black Widow shook his head, letting himself stop thinking about these irrelevant things. Banner knew that he had joined the job, but he didn't know what to do next. Black Widow understood what Banner meant, and explained, according to Lu Feng, you just need to follow his orders. Other times are free to arrange, but it's best to be near the police station, so that he can prevent the Hulk and you from messing around. Banner heard this, paused for a moment, then smiled wryly. Isn't this equivalent to retirement? Retiring in the police station is still a bit different. Black Widow said, Furthermore, Lu Feng doesn't support idlers. He said that there is an old saying in China that they raise soldiers for a thousand days and use them for a short time, so when the time is right, they will still arrange you to work. Banner nodded, thinking to himself, it seems that his first priority now is to make peace with the Hulk inside him. No matter what it was for, it was a matter of great benefit to him. In this way, the matter at the police station came to an end. Over at Deadpool, who's having a blast at the club right now? In the nightclub, the lights are everywhere and the music is loud. Our playboy Deadpool is hugging left and right at the moment, and there is another whistling in front of him, so happy. Deadpool leans back in a nightclub. As if to release all the unhappiness of being locked in prison for the past few months, he shouted, this 23TM is really cool. After being stimulated by alcohol and music in the nightclub, in the second half, Deadpool couldn't help holding the three girls and went to the hotel next door. After dawn, I reluctantly came out of the hotel. After Deadpool came out, he was surprised to find Laura, the little wolf girl, squatting on the curb in a daze, looking a little lonely from a distance. Deadpool remembered this scene, when he was in the helicopter. What the little wolf girl said to Banner is that she is a clone without parents, and Wolverine, who treats her like a daughter, is now missing. Maybe it's because both of them were also injected with Wolverine's self-healing factor. Deadpool vaguely felt sympathy for the little wolf girl Laura, and he also knew what Wolverine meant to Laura. So Deadpool walked over, ready to pat little wolf girl on the back to comfort her. Unexpectedly, she was knocked down by the little wolf girl with an over-the-shoulder throw, and the atmosphere instantly became awkward. The little wolf girl looked at Deadpool with supercilious eyes, and said, next time, don't sneak behind me. Miss your dad. Deadpool thought to himself that he was in the same generation as your father Wolverine. So he was going to talk to little wolf girl in the tone of an elder. So what if I want to? I can't see it again. The little wolf girl replied. Then you should focus on that. No. The little wolf girl refused. I only like to drink, you can hang out and have fun by yourself. Deadpool felt discouraged in a boring way, and then couldn't help channeling. If only you had a hobby with me. Deadpool rode. Speaking of which, the little wolf girl ignored Deadpool lazily, raised her phone and asked, have you received the text message? Lu Feng said it was time to go back. Deadpool belatedly pulls out his phone. This is the communication device that Lu Feng specially equipped for them to facilitate contact and give instructions. Deadpool also saw a text message from Lu Feng, saying that the day of fun was over and they were voluntarily returned to the New York jail. He began to spit fragrances to Lu Feng. But there is nothing to do. After all, the guy standing behind Lu Feng was tougher than his younger brother. Deadpool could only go to the New York prison with Little Wolf Girl helplessly. The United States, inside a certain military base. At this moment, General Ross was watching with a serious face, and his subordinates transported the disgusting corpse back by helicopter. Abomination is different from Hulk, it still maintains the state of transformation after death. Rose looked at the wounds on the surface of his body in disgust, and the more he looked, the angrier he became. He didn't expect that the super soldier number two he carefully created would die so tragically. And judging by the wounds, it was not defeated by Hulk, but killed by others. Rose's face was livid, and he knew without thinking that it was Lu Feng who did it, that guy would only disrupt his plan. Lu Feng warned himself not to allow Hulk to appear, and then he was unwilling to let Superman deal with Hulk. 
After he sent out the second serum injected monster abomination, he sent someone to kill it. Now, Bruce Banner is nowhere to be found. Rose also had to pay damages six times what New York lost. That's at least 100 million US dollars. Ross was extremely angry, and his subordinates came over at this moment and said. General, we have learned the location of Bruce Banner through surveillance. Where is it? Tell me quickly. Rose asked urgently. In NYPD, the soldier faltered in response. Rose gritted his teeth in hatred, and spit out a sentence from his mouth. It's the NYPD again. It's you again, Lu Feng. Lu Feng returned to his residence. Before my butt was hot, my phone received a text message. You haven't been here for a long time, can you come and see me? Lu Feng looked at the sender's name as Michaela Baines, and was dazed for a while, wondering whose name it was. Fortunately, there are not many people in Lu Feng's address book, so after a random elimination, I remembered that it was the heroine of, shapeshifting King Kong. Because I used to memorize the actor's name, Megan Fox, and I didn't care what the heroine's name was when watching movies. A few months ago, the military from, X-Men, compensated this little girl to him, and now Lu Feng still keeps her in the hotel. Sent me a message so bluntly, it seems that this little girl is extremely lonely in the hotel. Lu Feng laughed. But after thinking about it, Michaela would be lonely after staying in the hotel alone for so long, after all, everyone has needs. And Lu Feng is fine at the moment, and Wanda has not returned from a business trip until now, it doesn't hurt to change the taste. Then Lu Feng changed into casual clothes and went out. At first, Lu Feng thought that Michaela would be as pitiful as a kitten in estrus. As a result, when we arrived at the destination, we saw Michaela in hot pants and short sleeves lying on a locomotive for repairs before he entered the room. There was another woman standing next to her, who was the landlord of the hotel. It seemed that the landlord asked Michaela to help her when she learned that she had the skills to repair motorcycles. Looking at this figure from a distance, Lu Feng is extremely hot, motorcycle, hot girl. Your fuel tank is fine, and I also fixed the clutch plate for you. After Michaela finished repairing, she turned her head and saw Lu Feng who had been standing there for a long time. Excited, she ignored the sweat on her body and hugged Lu Feng's arms without saying a word, I miss you so much. Three days later, later, I found that my mobile phone had more than 99 missed calls, and all of them were made by Ross alone. Lu Feng looked at it, and then called Ross back. Ross on the other end of the phone seemed to be standing in front of the phone all the time, and Lu Feng got through the call in only 3 seconds. Playing missing for 3 days, playing hard to get is very good, Mr. Lu Feng. General Ross said sarcastically. Lu Feng held his forehead slightly, thinking that whoever is playing with you, an insignificant guy, is missing, I am having fun, okay. Then he said impatiently, if you have something to say, just talk about it, and call me directly when the compensation is ready. We have indeed prepared the compensation, and it is not bad. Ross said a little coldly, our military does things with credibility and morality, but your police seem to be not very moral. The corners of Lu Feng's mouth turned up, as if he already knew what Ross was talking about, but he still asked knowingly, what are you referring to? Bruce Class 187. Rose's voice rose. It's fine if you send someone to kill my number two test subject, but you actually hired Bruce Banner to the New York Police Department later. Rose thumped the table while talking. You are stealing other people's things. Is Bruce Banner a thing? Lu Feng asked a little arrogantly. No, he is human, he has a sense of autonomy, he chose to become a member of the New York Police Department, and it has nothing to do with you. Hulk is the product of my experiments. Roth yelled. Lu Feng shrugged and said, he is Bruce Banner now, when he becomes Hulk and you have the ability to conquer him, then talk to me about ownership. Lu Feng yawned pretentiously, it's getting late, General Ross, I'm going to bed, remember to put the indemnity on the card, or New York won't let you go. The negotiation failed, and Lu Feng urged him to pay compensation. Ross was furious, and said directly on the phone, Lu Feng, you are messing with the military, I swear you don't want to do this, I. Before Ross finished speaking, Lu Feng hung up the phone. Then he put the phone away, dropped a wad of dollars, and left Michaela's hotel. On the way, 
Lu Fang couldn't help feeling that besides his Superman blood getting stronger and stronger, other aspects were also ridiculously strong. But Michaela is just an ordinary person after all, and she can't destroy others because of herself. Back home, Lu Fang was expecting his wife Wanda to come back, but when he opened the door, he saw Betty. Seeing Betty in red lace pajamas, Lu Fang was stunned, why are you wearing my wife's clothes? The corner of Lu Feng's mouth raised, aren't you afraid that your father will be unhappy? I hate my dad, just to make him unhappy. Betty said. Isn't this what you want? Lu Feng laughed, then let's make your father unhappy together. In this way, in the next few days, Lu Feng's itinerary was like this. Stay at home for three days, go to the hotel for another three days, and repeat. Shift workers need rest, but Lu Feng, who is like a perpetual motion machine, does not need it. Lu Feng will also take time to visit the police station. Black Widow, as always, handled trivia and small case decisions for Lu Feng. Bruce Banner is also gradually getting used to the work of the police station. Occasionally, he would complain to Lu Feng, the relationship between Hulk and me is still not improving, and I don't even know how to communicate with him. Relax, take your time, Lu Feng would always comfort, Hulk is not your enemy, the two of you are equivalent to roommates. You have to learn to respect him, understand him, and become friends with him, so that both sides can achieve a win-win situation. Banner nodded half-knowingly. Deadpool and Wolfgirl over there. Although the last mission did not bring Hulk back, successfully defeating the Abomination and finding Hulk can be considered as completing the mission. So in order to reward them, Lu Feng specially refurbished the decoration and various supplies in their prison. Now it looks very different from the word prison, and it can be said that he is the most comfortable prisoner. Lu Feng just returned to his daily life. The United States, Shield Base. Nick Fury is investigating the information of other supernatural abilities in the world, selecting, investigating, researching, analyzing. In the days without Black Widow Natasha Romanoff, Nick's workload has become more and more busy. And it's all thanks to that guy, Lu Feng of the NYPD, and his friend, Superman. Thinking of this, Nick became very angry. This was the first time since he entered S.H.I.E.L.D. that he was aggrieved like this. Just as Nick Fury was feeling irritated thinking about this, the phone in the office rang suddenly. Nick picked it up and only listened to the other end of the phone. Hi Nick Director Nick Fury, this is General Ross Lauren. What's the deal? Nick Fury asked. Ross on the other end of the phone responded. I think we've all been screwed lately by the same, domineering guy, Lu Feng. Both are smart people, and Nick already understands what the other means. Nick half closed his eyes and said, so you want to make an alliance? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Ross on the other end of the phone gritted his teeth and said. Together, we can make Lu Feng and the NYPD pay the price. Lu Feng just spent seven or eight days of daily life, back and forth after Michaela and Betty. The affairs of the police station are handled quite well, and Banner is already as proficient in business as Black Widow. After Lu Feng received the compensation from the Ross military, he also equipped the police station with good equipment. This is all thanks to the Russian military, as well as the new weapon technology provided by S.H.I.E.L.D. before. As for whether the two of them were bleeding, it's up to him. Since Lu Feng took over New York, the crime rate in New York has reached the lowest among all states and cities in the United States. It's just that recently, for some unknown reason, crimes have suddenly increased. At this time, Lu Feng will send Deadpool and Little Wolf Girl who call themselves a special operation team. These two people are actually quite easy to use, but sometimes they are a bit bloody. Deadpool often defends his behavior. I just met a Chinese person who said that there is an idiom in your Chinese language called cutting weeds and eradicating roots. You also have Chinese blood, so you must understand this sentence better than me. That's why I chopped the enemy into meat paste. Definitely part of the reason is that it looks good when chopped into meat sauce. Lu Feng said that Deadpool's understanding of this word is quite correct beyond his imagination. Anyway, dead people are not good things, and it doesn't matter how they die. Then how did you meet this friend? Where is he now? Lu Feng asked curiously. Deadpool replied with some embarrassment. That person actually met last night, and he is gone now. Lu Feng couldn't help but smile bitterly. 
co-authoring an idiom you learned from the assassination target. Deadpool waved his hand and said, it sounds useful, so use it, after all, that person is a gangster leader, and his words are quite good. Although it was a bit embarrassing for him to cut his throat in front of his little brother, but I also beheaded his little brother. We will be buried together, there is no problem at all. He he he. Deadpool said with a smile. The little wolf girl held her forehead slightly, expressing that she didn't want Zhang Yang to work with this guy. Deadpool, on the other hand, played cheaply. Live to learn. I, Wade, am a person who likes to learn poses. Yes, you know what I mean. Wait a minute. Lu Feng interrupted Deadpool's dirty joke. Then he raised his eyebrows in displeasure and said, I didn't ask you to assassinate any Asians last night, did I? Deadpool paused for a while as if he was thinking, and then he suddenly realized. Killed the wrong person, he he. The little wolf girl beside him rolled her eyes at him, and then said to Lu Feng. I reminded him, but he cut the other party's throat before he finished speaking. The movements of the hands are also like a little girl's cuteness. I made a mistake, I made a mistake, he he he, but they are all bad guys, it's okay. Lu Feng couldn't laugh or cry for a while. He didn't know how to evaluate this product. However, Lu Feng didn't really do anything to Deadpool, he just deducted the number of vacation days and play dollars for this reward like a class teacher punishing a student. Lu Feng will reward them every time they complete the task, and every time Deadpool plays the most vigorously, that's why they work so hard. But this time the deduction made Deadpool depressed for a long time, thinking that he would have to save a few more shots. It doesn't matter to Little Wolf Girl. After all, she only likes to drink. Lu Feng will not hide Deadpool because of this, and they will still let them do some difficult things. Deadpool's question just needs to teach a few words. The matter between the two of them came to an end, and Lu Feng went back to the gentle village. This depraved life continued until my wife sent a text message to notify me to come home tonight and ended. Betty had lived in Lu Feng's house for a long time. Betty didn't move out until she heard that Wanda was almost back from a business trip. Definitely, Betty has to wash Wanda's clothes before moving out, which is the consequence of seeking excitement. I should go home too. Lu Feng sighed and lifted the quilt from the double bed. Naturally, this is not Lu Feng's house, nor is it the hotel where Michaela lives, but uh. As soon as Lu Feng got up, the person beside the pillow with a large tattoo on his body looked at him reluctantly. Are you leaving? Will you miss me? When will you come again? The opposite sex has eyes full of admiration, is pitiful and very pitiful, it is really difficult to combine it with the image of the younger sister on behalf of her. If Lu Feng hadn't paid the rations tonight, he would definitely have to arrange another judge. So Lu Feng touched the other person's face first, and said, I have something to do today, I will come to you again next time, okay. The tattooed girl nodded lazily like a kitten, yeah. After Lu Feng went out, he silently memorized the address here. Lu Feng hadn't been here a week ago. Unexpectedly, this little girl got her own phone number from nowhere. Out of nowhere, he made a phone call, hinting that it was time for a spring night with Lu Feng. I thought I would never contact him again, but I didn't expect to contact Lu Feng secretly recently, and I still stick to myself like a bird. So Lu Feng had no choice but to accept the third P friend, counting, including Wanda, Lu Feng has four. Fortunately, I have the blood of Superman. An ordinary person would not be able to hold on for at most two weeks at most. After Wanda went home, as expected, Lu Feng had to pay rations again. Fortunately, the advantage of the Superman bloodline is that it is the same as the first time for countless times, and the color is so pure that Wanda didn't notice the difference. Lying on the bed, Lu Feng noticed that Wanda was not in a good mood, so he asked casually. Has anything bothered you lately? Wanda leaned into Lu Feng's arms and said. My brother, there seems to be something wrong recently. He goes out early and returns late all day long, and he smells of alcohol when he comes back. Lu Feng thought it was Wanda who found out that something was wrong with her, so she breathed a sigh of relief. Then Lu Feng said casually. Young people of this age are always spending time in drinking, so stop thinking about it. Lu Feng thought to himself, he has been surrounded by so many women recently, who else could be crazier than himself? You're tired from running around all day, go to bed early. Channel Lu. Wanda nodded. Yeah, 
Just when the two were about to fall asleep, Lu Feng's phone rang suddenly. Picking it up, it wasn't the police station or the person in the address book, but a call from a special mobile phone. Lu Feng immediately understood that it was the special communication equipment of Deadpool and Little Wolf Girl, and it would only be the case when they dialed from their mobile phones. It's just that why are they calling him so late? Lu Feng got up, went to the kitchen and answered the phone. Deadpool on the other end of the phone spoke first, Gui Ning, Master Lu Feng. Don't imitate the Chinese accent. What's wrong? Did you get the target wrong again this time, Zhao's? Or did you overdo it again? Lu Feng asked. Deadpool and Little Wolf Girl basically seldom call Lu Feng. If they do, it's due to lack of money, killing the wrong person and getting lost. And calling so late, it should be killing the wrong person. Deadpool on the other end of the phone replied, Oh, it's okay to kill the wrong person, Deadpool won't fall twice in the same place. Then why did you call in the middle of the night? A saint Deadpool who won't fall twice in the same place? Lu Feng asked. Deadpool on the other end of the phone is a little awkward and authentic. Actually, it's nothing, the main thing is that I was having sex with four women just now, oh one of them has a really great figure, it perfectly interprets what twigs bear fruit, the feel of the hand, the trajectory of movement. After all, Lu Feng interrupted Deadpool angrily. Did you change careers to pimp you? I don't want to hear the details of these beds, tell me the key points. Okay, okay. Deadpool was a little disappointed because he couldn't show his skills, and continued. It's just that when I came out from the shooting and was about to go back to the prison with Laura, I suddenly couldn't find her. Lu Feng replied. Relaxation after the task is completed is definitely either drinking or on the way to drinking, you can find it in nightclubs if you can't find it. I thought so too, but the communication location couldn't find her, and according to the last few locations of the device, I searched for several nightclubs and hotels but couldn't find her. Deadpool explained. Can't find the location of the communication equipment. Under normal circumstances, as long as it is in any area with a signal in the United States, even if the phone is out of battery, it can be located. Lu Feng became slightly concerned. That's why I'm dumbfounded. Quote. Deadpool responded, and went on to say. By the way, when Laura's group of little boys heard me asking them, they thought I was her boyfriend and pulled me up. Then I chopped up one or two of them, and there were almost eight of them. I took care of all the corpses. When the time comes, you can take care of them. I love you. Deadpool blew a kiss to Lu Feng over the phone. Lu Feng scolded directly, you killed ordinary people again. Lu Feng raised his forehead slightly, saying that Deadpool is always not letting himself worry, but this is still insignificant compared to the missing Little Wolf Girl. Little Wolf Girl is one of Lu Feng's more worry-free subordinates, and she has basically never lost any chains. And now the communication between the Little Wolf Girl has disappeared, and even the communication can't be contacted. This is not a coincidence, it means. Lu Feng raised his head again, with a sharp look in his eyes. I, Lu Feng, have been provoked by forces who don't know how to live or die. Deadpool on the other end of the phone was extremely excited. What what? Is Leng Teqing provoking us? Really? Really? Then I can start killing again. Who are those people? Come on, tell me, I want to kill people. Deadpool was as excited as a child with a new toy. It's not clear yet, so you need to investigate. Lu Feng said. Just pay attention to setting the scope of investigation in some military forces and supernatural humans, such as mutant. The reason for investigating these forces is that many military forces in the United States have a lot of connections with Lu Feng, and it is not clear that it is the unscrupulous force that dared to provoke him. Secondly, Little Wolf Girl is also a genetic clone of Wolverine, no matter how many ordinary people there are. They cannot control it, and those who can catch her are basically supernatural humans. No matter which force it is, as long as the 650 finds and proves that they have moved me, you can kill them. Lu Feng directly issued such an ultimatum. Deadpool was overjoyed and said. Understood. Don't worry, Mr. Lu Feng, this time I will definitely confirm before making a move. Kill their family absolutely fair and just. Deadpool ends the call with inexplicable excitement. Immediately afterwards, Lu Feng picked up his mobile phone again and called Arthur, the director of the general administration. The phone was connected, and the director of the general administration over there asked. 
Fan, what's the matter? Hasn't the compensation from the military been sent to your account yet? Lu Feng replied, it's not about the compensation, it's about someone bullying me and blatantly provoking me. What? Someone is blatantly provoking you. This is provoking the United States police. Which force is it? Do I need to use public power on my side? The director of the general administration asked immediately. We will soon know which force it is. Lu Feng said coldly, I can solve it here. You don't need to do anything. You just need to help me find Laura Kinney. He was last seen in some of the best bars in New York, and that's enough to help me find out who took her. Okay, I will try my best to arrange for someone to help you find her. Arthur responded and asked again. It's just, Fung, are you sure you don't want to take action from me? The public authority can solve all this more easily. You know my character. Lu Feng directly refused, and then the evil wolf said. In my territory, whoever provokes me, I will personally make the other party pay the most painful price. When Arthur on the other end of the phone heard this, he no longer insisted on using public power. Then he said, I see, Fung, I will arrange for people to find Laura Kinney and the CDEF forces behind the person who kidnapped her as soon as possible, and I believe there will be results soon. The two ended their conversation, and both Deadpool and the Director General launched an investigation into the little wolf girl, Laura Kinney. Shield Base Side Ross from the military and Nick Fury from Shield, who are behind it all, don't yet understand the seriousness of the matter. The two parties sat together in the conference room, discussing how to teach Lu Feng of the New York Police Department a big lesson. The two were talking, and Nick suddenly asked, General Ross's experiment on super soldier serum and gamma rays has failed, and it is still the time of hemorrhage. Are you sure you can withstand the forces of Lu Feng of the New York Police? We have other allies, don't worry about that. Ross said, besides, I never said that our super soldier serum experiment failed. Nick was slightly taken aback, and Ross began to explain. The Hulk is gone, the abomination is dead, but the experiment isn't over yet. Rose drank the red wine in his hand and said arrogantly. The third generation experimental subject is ready to be redeemed, Lu Feng will only be torn to pieces by our new experimental product. The United States, ten rings fell in prison. I don't know how long it took. The little wolf girl gradually woke up from the coma, and began to look at this ghostly place. I was arrested again. The little wolf girl couldn't help complaining in her heart. It's just that this time it's not as perverted as before, surrounded by steel walls, dark and dark. This place looks like an ordinary dungeon, with iron bars of unknown material. The little wolf girl looked outside a little, and found that there were still two people standing guard at the door of the dungeon. The little wolf girl showed a sneer, and then said to the two people at the door of the dungeon. What kind of mind is your boss? Locking me up in this crude place, thinking that sending two guards will prevent someone from taking me away. One of the guards retorted, shut up, little boy, you don't know you're in the world famous ten rings. Another guard echoed, who doesn't know that claws can emerge from your body. But if your limbs are locked, what can you do? You can be wheeled. There are our people for a hundred miles, how can you run away? Ten rings. Why did they come to catch her? The little wolf girl wondered to herself. This gang has been making waves in the history of the United States for many years, and the little wolf girl has naturally heard of the name Ten Rings. The leader of Ten Rings is a Chinese, immortal, and rumored to be the king of Mongolia, Genghis Khan. But this is just a legend that has been circulated, and the little wolf girl herself does not know what the truth is. And she couldn't think of a time when she had offended members of the Ten Rings or stood in their way. Could it be Lu Feng? It's just that Ten Rings doesn't haunt New York, so there shouldn't be any conflict with Lu Feng. Perhaps the answer is not the relationship between Ten Rings and Lu Feng, but the Ten Rings was hired by other powerful people to try to threaten Lu Feng by kidnapping himself. The little wolf girl thought about it, and finally smiled. The two guards were dumbfounded when they saw this scene, and one of them asked the other next to him. Is this woman out of her mind? The people over there said they wanted to keep her alive. Will we be scolded if we scare her into a fool? Idiots, I think you are so stupid that it makes people laugh. Do you think that your gang has a lot of people and has a lot of influence, so you can not be afraid of any influence? The little wolf girl shook her head and said, You have no idea what kind of existence you are facing. 
Outside the dungeon, around the location of Little Wolf Girl, the members of Ten Rings, armed with all kinds of weapons, stand on a high wall with three floors inside and three floors outside, guarding nearly 10,000 people. This is the favorite formation used by the leader of Ten Rings, and it is usually used to imprison heavy criminals. In the history of Ten Rings, there has never been a record of being breached. Hey, brother, today is the third day we've been imprisoning this mutant, isn't it? A guard on the outermost wall asked the guard next to him to fish and chat. The guard didn't want to fish at first, but he was bored, so he replied. Yeah, it's been three days, and no one has come. I don't know if the other side is cowardly or too stupid to find it. My superb marksmanship has nowhere to be used. How long does it take for someone to come with this posture? The first guard asked. The third guard asked curiously, You guy, are you new here? That's right, I just went to work today, and my ability is outstanding, so I was assigned to the outermost layer. The first guard replied. For the felons were imprisoned, someone tried to break in almost the next day or even that night. If you hit them earlier, you'll admit defeat sooner. But why does your voice sound so weird? The second guard noticed something strange while talking, what are you talking with in your mouth? The first guard waved his hand and said, it's nothing, maybe because I wear two masks so it sounds a little weird. Two masks, others find it strange, yes, the guard took off the armed mask, revealing the red tights mask under the mask, this is the mask. You fooling, the guard panicked and was about to shoot, but Deadpool was one step ahead of him and headshot him. Then there were three bang 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 bangs, the bullets flew, and none of the guards around could stand still. When the guards not far away saw this scene, they all came to support with their guns. Deadpool stretched his muscles, and then he handed Katana, and the residents excitedly said. Let's kill. After saying that, Deadpool rushed into the crowd to slaughter. Three floors inside and three floors outside, with a knife in his hand and a knife in his hand, he killed an unknown number of Ten Rings members. Deadpool performed his slaughter game like this for more than two hours. In the end, he himself was shot in the head by a sniper standing in the distance. The sniper who had seen the strength of Deadpool's self-healing ability even added a few more shots to Deadpool's body, and did not stop until Deadpool was beaten to pieces. That guy should be dead, right? The cannon sniper heaved a sigh of relief. But when the sniper shifted his sight to the gate, he found. A figure is slowly stepping over one corpse after another, walking straight towards the center of the prison. Just as the sniper aimed at the strong guy and was about to start, the other party had already spotted him first. I saw the corner of his mouth raised, and then the pistol was raised, and with a bang, the bullet directly hit the sniper's forehead. How could the pistol bullets be possible? The sniper died with such doubts. Lu Feng walked towards the center of the prison, and Deadpool just threw him there for self-healing. What was the doubt of Lu Songshu's sniper before he died? After all, the gun fighting technique is a skill that can greatly expand the shooting distance and accuracy as long as you master the wrist skills accurately when shooting. I am afraid that there is no other skill in the world. Therefore, in theory, Lu Feng only needs a pistol and enough bullets to annihilate any powerful team or force in the world. Definitely he could also directly strafe everything here with heat, but that would be way too cheap for them. No matter who invited these people, no matter how powerful the equipment is, if Lu Feng wants them to die, he must make their death the most painful. This is the reason why Lu Feng promised Deadpool that he can do a lot of killing, because he himself, also intends to do a lot of killing. Lu Feng entered the prison. As soon as he stepped in, more than 200 men in black holding various ninja tools appeared in a dark corner, and surrounded Lu Feng. You are finally here, jailbreaker, our group of ninjas have been waiting for you here for a long time. The leader-like man in black looked at Lu Feng meanly, and said. How dare you enter the interior with a pistol? We have more than 200 ninjas, what do you use to fight us? Lu Feng showed his pistol and four magazines, and then said disdainfully. With this pistol, it's enough to shoot you ninjas who are living a good life one by one. The leader directly raged, Biga crushing the road. Cut him off. The ninjas rushed forward in an instant. In the darkness, gunshots mixed with the iconic roars and wailings of the islanders. Each spark from the pistol briefly illuminated the darkness. And every time it is illuminated, an islander will fall at Lu Feng's feet. 
Lu Feng has gone crazy. The combination of the revenge for these guys who made me angry, and the anger of the Chinese blood in his bones combined with each other, and directly killed this group of islanders who lived a good life to nothing left. Among them, an island ninja panicked, crawled over his brother's corpse in embarrassment on the ground, and after leaving the range of Lu Feng's massacre, he used the walkie-talkie to call for help like crazy. Moses, Moses, we can't stand it anymore. Come on, quickly take out that secret weapon, without the support of that big man, we will soon be wiped out here. PFF. Ah. Before the deserter ninja finished speaking, the leader of the ninja came over and stabbed him in the stomach with a knife, and cursed. Bagayalu. Our boy Japan does not allow deserters to appear. But turning his head to look at Lu Feng who was killing wildly, the leader picked up the intercom wisely and continued, but he is right, call for help. We need rescue. Let that monster out. Not long after the ninja leader called for help, he also died under Lu Feng's hands, beheading him with their knives. After killing all the Shaoshan Chinese, Lu Feng took their knives and weighed them a few times. Then he complained, I can't even copy Tang Dao, so I copied it like this. Throwing away the knife, Lu Feng continued to move forward. At this moment, Lu Feng's sensitive ears suddenly heard the roar of monsters from inside the prison. Lu Feng straightened his clothes indifferently, and then continued to walk forward. Unexpectedly, after entering it, there is actually a huge amount of Colosseum. Walking from Lu Feng's road, it happens to be the entrance of the Colosseum, and there are countless high-level people from Ten Rings on the Colosseum. Everyone, please see that the one who has fallen into our trap is Lu Feng, an ordinary policeman from the New York Police Department. Above the Colosseum, the host is exaggeratingly introducing to the high-level officials. His opponent is the product of our most powerful experiment tonight, provided by the military experiment, the ultimate fighting monster. The high-level executives followed the host's gaze and found that in another corner of the Colosseum was a five-meter-tall monster chained up by chains. When they saw the monster, all of them cheered. Because they were preparing to see Lu Feng and the character at the other end of the Colosseum fight fiercely. And Lu Feng's opponent at the other end of the Colosseum is the third experimental product of the Ross military. Perhaps it was created temporarily to fight against Lu Feng, the Blue Hulk replica monster still has all kinds of tubes inserted into its body, as if injecting medicine into the Blue Hulk at any time. In addition to possessing huge amounts of muscle, the Blue Hulk drooled like a hungry beast, and then let out bursts of low growls uninterrupted. The sicker Blue Hulk is, the more excited the high-level executives on stage are, they just want to watch Blue Hulk tear Lu Feng to pieces alive. Maybe Lu Feng can live a little longer, the Blue Hulk can play with Lu Feng, and the higher-ups will be happier. And they have the courage to stand here to watch this live broadcast, thanks to the mutant who has entered the Ten Rings on the stage as a guard to protect these people. So the higher-ups cheered, ready to watch Lu Feng being torn to pieces by the Blue Hulk. Unexpectedly, everyone saw a disdainful smile on Lu Feng's face. Everyone thought Lu Feng was crazy, and the host directly ordered the Blue Hulk to get out of bondage. The Blue Hulk with pipes all over his body broke free, and started roaring and galloping towards Lu Feng. Lu Feng remained motionless under the cheers of the crowd, no matter how close the Blue Hulk was, Lu Feng remained motionless. Finally, the Blue Hulk punched Lu Feng. There was a huge amount of sound, and a strong wave of air broke out centered on the two of them. Is this dead? Some people in the upper echelons expressed doubts. TCH, I thought she was capable, but I didn't expect to be an ordinary person. The high-level people kept beeping and beeping, thinking that Lu Feng was a waste. Until someone discovered that there was no blood at the scene. Then someone exclaimed, he, he didn't die. Not only is he not dead, but, he's all right. Lu Feng easily received the Blue Hulk's fist with his palm. The monster still didn't believe it, and continued to punch it with two punches, Lu Feng let it hammer this time. As the Blue Hulk became weaker and weaker, not only the Blue Hulk, but also all the senior executives present were dumbfounded and panicked. It's my turn. Lu Feng simply responded, followed by a simple punch. In the next instant, the Blue Hulk was directly sent flying. The blue monster's body was driven deeply into the wall. Just as it was trying to get out of the wall with all its strength. On Lu Feng's side, two red lights quietly lit up. Immediately after, the heat sight swept directly, swallowing the blue hulk. 
So, in such a short time of less than two minutes the blue beam turned to ashes. My god, what's going on? Run, come on, come and protect me one by one. The high level people finally panicked and started running for their lives in panic. And Lu Feng flew up on the spot, scanning all the high level people present with his red eyes, and said coldly. One, don't even think about living. Quote, Lu Feng is like a demon, floating in the air, sweeping the audience with his red eyes. No grass grows anywhere in sight, and no living thing can escape from it. The entire Colosseum was bloodbathed, whether it was mutants or ordinary humans. On the side of the dungeon where the little wolf girl is, the two guards vaguely heard the wailing from above. Asking for flowers. This is definitely not the voice of Lu Feng alone, and it is impossible for the subordinates brought by Lu Feng to come here. So there is only one answer, these voices over there are all from their own people. In an instant, the two guards panicked. There are thousands of people with high-tech weapons and mutants outside. Definitely, they can't panic for long. In the next moment, the sound of gunshots came to mind, and two bullets that could turn turned just like that sank into the heads of the two guards. Then holding a pistol, Lu Feng, whose upper body was naked and covered in blood, came to the little wolf girl. Seeing little wolf girl, she smiled and said, Superman is done, we can go now. Little wolf girl nodded without showing any surprise, after all, she had already expected all this. Over there at the shield base, Ross looked contented, and was imagining how miserable Lu Feng would be screaming before he died. And Nick had an ominous premonition and asked, are you sure your subject number three can fix this? Nick asked. Relax, what do you think of Lu Feng? He's just an ordinary person, not a superman. Ross said arrogantly. Zero. We jointly arranged so many manpower. There are also ten rings, there are also mutants, and there are also ace experimental subjects. A little Lu Feng is enough to kill him millions of times. Nick Fury retorted. Lu Feng is not superman, but he knows superman. We probably don't have enough power to make Superman fit his teeth. So aren't we monitoring everything within a 100 mile radius of Ten Rings prison? General Ross called up hundreds of surveillance videos as he spoke. There are so many monitors, and they work in all aspects without dead ends. As long as Superman appears, the monitor can capture his figure. This is also thanks to the technical support from your shield, Ross said with satisfaction. Nick looked at the surveillance video and nodded, indeed, they were covered with surveillance cameras in every direction of Ten Rings prison. Under the surveillance screen, neither Nick nor Rose noticed the presence of Superman. The monitoring only saw Deadpool who went in front of him, and Lu Feng who waited for Deadpool to finish everything before entering. When the two saw this scene, they still taunted, Lu Feng, this lifeless guy, didn't know what was waiting for him. Hundreds of lurking ninjas from the Little Day Kingdom, as well as the number three test subject and mutant, are waiting to tear him apart. It was also after seeing this scene that Rose began to celebrate. So it's been so long now, shouldn't we ask for information? Nick eagerly wanted to know the situation. Ross nodded, and made a call to someone from Ten Rings, but no one answered. What happened? The Ten Rings didn't follow orders. Rose's subconscious thought. Then Ross called the military guard next to the prison, but he didn't answer. The third and fourth calls still didn't answer. Ross was already a little panicked, Nick saw this, and quickly called out the positioning device hidden on Mutant's body. It was found that all positioning devices were damaged. Under normal circumstances, even if it is dead, the positioning device does not exist. And the fact that such a thing happened at this moment proves that, that group of people is not only dead, but even dead without a whole body. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Ross was stunned. Ten rings and others were wiped out. Nick Fury said in disbelief. Deadpool doesn't have the ability to cause such casualties, Lu Feng is even more impossible for an ordinary person. So, it's him who's causing all of this, it's always been him. It's Superman. When Nick Fury said this, the tragic image brought about by the destruction of the last Superman immediately appeared in his mind. For a moment, Nick Fury was furious and yelled. Fake. Nick cursed and threw something, then pointed to Rose's nose and said. You promised me. You said it was safe this time, that you could kill Lu Feng before Superman showed up. But what's going on now? 
10 rings, mutant, and the third layer experimental subjects are all wiped out. Do you dare to say that this is caused by Lu Feng, an ordinary person plus a Deadpool? Ross was dumbfounded by the question, but he didn't know how to refute Nick Fury. Because his plan did fail. He thought that Lu Feng would break into Ten Rings prison alone because of anger. If Lu Feng really does this, what awaits him is torture and death. But that didn't happen, and Superman never showed up under surveillance. Could it be that Lu Feng has other tricks? Lu Feng, how much more can he do? On the NYPD side, inside Lu Feng's office. Deadpool, Little Wolf Girl, and Black Widow stood in front of Lu Feng, waiting for the next step. Why ye? After listening to everything roughly described by Lu Feng, Black Widow asked. So, the force that has the audacity to provoke you is the military controlled by Rose Lauren. It's the military, and not just the military. Lu Feng replied with sharp eyes, the military alone cannot create so many different forces, so the military also has allies. Black Widow Natasha Romanoff nodded and did not speak any more. The task of uncovering another faction partnered with the military will be taught to you too, Deadpool and Laura, and the people from the general administration will cooperate with you. Lu Feng gave orders to the two. Deadpool still replied indecently. Received sir. I, Wade Wilson aka Deadpool, will do my best until I die. Although I can't die he he he. Lu Feng ignored Deadpool's indecency and warned instead. You still run the train with your mouth full. If you lose Laura again this time, I'll put your knife in the bone of your hand and sew your mouth shut. Thinking of himself like this, Deadpool immediately shuddered. Is Deadpool the one who can't talk? Going to be the villain in a solo superhero movie. After thinking about it, Deadpool said aggrievedly. She was arrested for being negligent, so it's none of her business, huh? Not long after the rant, seeing Lu Feng's cold eyes, he immediately changed the topic. Understood. I understand, this time I will definitely put Laura in my first place. More brave than protecting my younger brother. Little wolf girl Laura just took one more look at Lu Feng, then nodded without saying a word, not knowing what was going on in her heart. Lu Feng then gave instructions to Black Widow, and Natasha Romanoff, you have worked in S.H.I.E.L.D. before, and you are very good at investigating and analyzing forces. After the people from the general administration come down, you go to assist them. Black Widow agreed to come down. You must keep this in mind. Lu Feng said with fierce eyes. No matter how powerful the power behind them is, if they offend me, they must be found regardless of the cost, and they must be made to pay the price. After giving the order, Deadpool, Black Widow, and the people from the headquarters. They all began to search for the forces of military allies in a blanket manner based on existing clues. Three days later. In a hotel in the United States, the sky just turned white. Lu Feng climbed up from his old friend Michaela. Seeing the contented Michaela, Lu Feng silently lit a cigarette. When smoking, the temperament immediately diffuses with the smoke. Michaela saw Lu Feng smoking, stepped forward and hugged Lu Feng's neck, and replied. What's the matter? Has something bothered you recently? That's not unhappy, it's just thinking about something. Lu Feng responded. Then he added with sharp eyes, and it will be resolved soon, and soon, it will satisfy me. Michaela looked affectionately at Lu Feng's earnest expression, and felt that it was really sexy, so she couldn't help reaching out to touch Lu Feng's face. I believe that you will be able to solve any difficulties perfectly, Lu Feng, you are like a superman in my heart. Michaela looked at Lu Feng affectionately, and expressed her admiration for Lu Feng without hesitation, in other words, licking. Michaela is really good at licking, both mentally and physically. And Lu Feng also sensed the signal from Michaela. Then the corners of his mouth rose, and the quilt was lifted, and the general directly possessed him, raising his gun and fighting again. Four hours later. After that, Chuan Feng got dressed and went to the police station. After arriving at his office, Lu Feng called Black Widow and asked. How are you handling the matter that was entrusted to you three days ago? Black Widow operated the tablet in his hand, which recorded most of the police station's attendance records. Black Widow turned the tablet and responded while sliding. In the past three days, there has been no progress like the first day. It can only be said that the military allies are too good at hiding their traces, and Deadpool and Laura are just like headless chickens outside. Oh, 
Can't find any evidence. How did you come to the conclusion? Let me explain. Lu Feng asked Black Widow to explain. Black Widow continued to flip through on the tablet, and after flipping to key points, he would explain it in front of Lu Feng with pictures and texts. Every step, the enemy did it very cautiously. Whether it's the deal with Ten Rings, or the employment of ninjas from Shaoshan Kingdom, or the mutant mercenaries who came out of nowhere, there is no trace of cobweb. No source, no record, it's as if nothing exists. Lu Feng looked at the police investigation record, and the more he looked at it, the more something went wrong, and finally the corners of his mouth raised up inexplicably. Black Widow noticed Lu Feng's strangeness, and asked, What's the matter? Have you found any cobweb traces? Lu Feng shook his head, then suddenly changed to another topic, and said to Black Widow, Accompany me to Montenegro prison, I have something for you to deal with. Black Mountain Prison is a prison in New York specially built for special criminals. Its defense is not inferior to the four top prisons of S.H.I.E.L.D. Not to mention that New York is Lu Feng's territory. After Lu Feng took charge, he constantly spent huge sums of money to strengthen everything in the prison. The present Black Mountain Prison has already become the most feared place for criminals in New York, known as New York Hell. It's just that Montenegro prison can only detain special criminals, and ordinary criminals are not even qualified to be detained. Accompany you to Montenegro prison. Hearing this, Black Widow asked with some doubts. Why are you going to this place all of a sudden? Lu Feng didn't answer Black Widow, but got up from the office chair, picked up his coat, and said. You will know when you go. Hearing this, Black Widow still hesitated. But Lu Feng had already gone out so she had no choice but to follow closely. Black Widow got into Lu Feng's car, and the two of them were speeding on the road to Black Mountain Prison. Finally, the two came to the special district on the outskirts of New York. From a distance, they could see a sentence pasted above the prison, Do not enter the place of seriousness, the violator shall be responsible. There are seven layers of defense outside Montenegro Prison. As soon as Lu Feng flew to the checkpoint, a guard in full armor was already waiting to stop Lu Feng from entering. Lu Feng came to the side of the guard, then rolled down the car window, the guard looked down slightly. The moment he saw Lu Feng's face clearly, the guard was shocked. Mr. Lu Feng, you are here. Then, the guard quickly picked up the walkie-talkie and called all the guards. Lu Feng, the light of New York, is here, and the checkpoint is fully open. No need to do this, just swipe the card and scan the iris as usual. Lu Feng also gave a little lesson. If one day I meet someone who can completely imitate my appearance, something will happen. You are in charge of this place, and you should have seen many people with this kind of ability. The guard immediately bowed and apologized, and then Lu Feng continued to walk through the process as usual. Black Widow saw all this in his eyes, secretly expressing that this Lu Feng is really rigorous in doing things. Afterwards, the two got out of the car and entered the prison, where body scans and metal detection were still performed as usual. Black Widow asked to be removed because of carrying a portable weapon on his body, Black Widow looked at Lu Feng and asked. Lu Feng nodded and said, take it off, you won't need these later, don't worry about accidents. Black Widow hesitated for a moment, and finally took off all the weapons on his body slowly. The two continued on to the interior of the prison. There are still layers of checkpoints inside the prison, and the structure of the walls is also different. There are no less than 10 kinds of walls and iron bars made of metal, titanium alloy, glass, wood, electric current, etc. As if seeing through Black Widow's doubts, Lu Feng said unhurriedly, this is to prevent the detainees from using the ability to manipulate certain substances. The two kept walking until they reached the last prison, where Lu Feng ordered the guards to open it. The last prison is a room similar to an interrogation room. After opening the door, Lu Feng signaled the guards to leave. There are all kinds of torture tools hanging on the last room, all of which should be there, but the most critical role is missing. So Black Widow asked suspiciously, why are there no criminals in custody here? Ha! Lu Feng turned to look at Black Widow, isn't that right here? One plus. Black Widow wanted to run, but Lu Feng grabbed his neck with one hand and threw it against the wall of the room. Definitely, very little effort was used, otherwise the Black Widow might have just endured the separation. Lu Feng clasped Black Widow's neck and gradually lifted it up, making it hang in the air. 
Why, why? Black Widow wailed in pain. Lu Feng looked at her coldly and said, You said it's not good for you to be anything but a running dog. Hearing this, Black Widow's pupils dilated. She struggled desperately, but she couldn't break free from the hand of Lu Feng, a man of steel. I asked you to investigate the forces, just to give you a chance to reform and let you personally report the old club shield. Unfortunately, you are useless if you are given a chance. Lu Feng put his face close to Black Widow, then sneered. Don't worry, I won't let you die like this cheaply. Lu Feng let go, and the fallen Black Widow desperately breathed air. You, what do you want? Four hours later, Lu Feng left the Haishan prison. After imprisoning Black Widow in Black Mountain prison, Lu Feng returned to the police station. As soon as he returned to the office, Lu Feng called Bruce Banner over. As soon as Banner entered the door and saw Lu Feng's serious expression, he knew that there was work to be done by himself. Banner has been really bored in the police station for the past few weeks, and he can't wait to have a job. So Banner asked, is there anything I can do for you, Lu Feng? Lu Feng nodded, and then said something that shocked Banner. You go to HR and have Natasha Romanoff removed from her position, and you will take her place from now on. What? Change Natasha Romanoff and me? That's too sudden. Banner was in disbelief, full of doubts, and asked, has Natasha Romanoff been unable to work recently? But anyway, wouldn't it be a bit rash to dismiss her like that? Lu Feng interrupted Banner directly, if you want to take over his job, the first thing you should learn is to be obedient and shut up. You understand, I'm taking you here, not asking you to stay here. Lu Feng reprimanded Banner with fierce eyes. Without me, you will be taken away by the military at any time to continue dissection and experiments. If you don't want to be taken away, just work hard. If you want to work, you must learn to obey the orders of your boss, and I am the boss. I am the god of New York, understand. Banner didn't know what trouble Black Widow had caused recently, but he could tell that Lu Feng was furious at the moment. If he provoked Lu Feng at this moment again, he might face a catastrophe. So Banner nodded knowingly, and replied, understood. Go to work. 23. Lu Feng waved his hand, motioning for Banner to leave. When Banner came to the personnel department, he expressed Lu Feng's instructions to the girl from the internal support department as when he first arrived. He thought that if the other party said something, he would ask the reason and so on before proceeding. Unexpectedly, the girl from the internal affairs department heard the request and was only stunned for a few seconds. Then he shook his head as if feeling sorry for Black Widow. Finally, after a little operation on the computer, the dismissal of Black Widow was completed. Banner couldn't help but be amazed at how efficient everything was. Unexpectedly, it was so easy for Lu Feng not only to arrange for others to join the job, but also to leave the job so easily. The internal staff didn't ask any questions during the whole process, as if Lu Feng's order was the imperial decree of the police station. The other side. After Banner left, Lu Feng took out his mobile phone. Immediately afterwards, he made a call to an extremely close person in the address book. Feng, why did you call me suddenly? What happened? After the call was connected, the voice on the opposite side was the voice of Lu Feng's adoptive mother. Lu Feng's adoptive mother is Elena Stark, the venue of the Red Cross. I have something to tell you. Lu Feng said unhurriedly on the phone, I want Nick Fury to die. Hearing this, adoptive mother Elena was slightly startled. When answering the phone, Elena was already mentally prepared for what Lu Feng was going to say. I just didn't expect Lu Feng's intention to eradicate S.H.I.E.L.D. director Nick Furui. It would be easy to kill him, but S.H.I.E.L.D. will definitely make trouble because of it, and the aftermath work will become troublesome. I know that killing him will be difficult for you, but I gave him a chance last time. Lu Feng said coldly. He didn't learn anything from the lesson I taught him last time, but this time he angered me unknowingly. Since you are given a chance and he is useless, let him make up for the tuition with his life. The adoptive mother Elena heard the words and replied, Since you have made a decision, mom will support you unconditionally, and I will help you settle the matter at S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't intend to eradicate S.H.I.E.L.D., S.H.I.E.L.D. will still exist, but Nick is gone. Lu Feng added. Lu Feng's eyes are fierce, but his eyes that are not lit up with red light are full of anger. Both Nick and Ross have to pay for what they did. Ross can get away with a life. Nick, 
sin unto death. Seemingly feeling the anger of her adopted son, Elena said directly. Just do it boldly if you want to do it, mom will help you deal with the aftermath. After receiving such a reply from her adoptive mother, Lu Feng ended the call. Then Lu Feng left the NYPD, walked into a small alley, and put on his glasses. After a while, a strong sonic boom erupted from the ground to the sky, and Lu Feng transformed into Superman and soared into the sky. Ross Lauren here, he's outside the lab of the Super Soldier Serum Project. Ross has been here non-stop since his plan with Nick Fury fell through. He is very urgent now, and urgently needs to create an experimental body that can compete with Superman, and an experimental body that is stronger than Hulk. But the experiments all went wrong one after another. As the experimenters were constantly seriously injured or died, there were no more soldiers around Rose who voluntarily participated in the experiment. Standing outside Ross looked at the lab, clenching his fists. With a heartbeat, a bold idea appeared in his mind. No one, I'll do it myself. He, Ross, has been fighting enemies for many years, and it was the first time in his life that he was threatened and blackmailed by this kid Lu Feng so humiliatingly. Succeed or succeed, perhaps only under this kind of oppression can one succeed in being like Hulk. Rose stepped into the laboratory with such mental preparations, but he had already lost his chance. The door behind him was kicked open suddenly, and a group of heavily armed soldiers entered. The soldiers swarmed up like ants, and caught Rose Lauren without saying a word. What do you do? Who sent you? Ross Lauren, who was already in a daze, was struggling desperately, and he still wanted to use himself as an experimental subject. The leader of the soldiers stepped forward and said, General Rose Lauren, you are suspected of endangering national security, and you have to go to a court martial with us. If you have any questions, wait until the court to ask you to find your lawyer and take it away. Rose Lauren was taken away just like that, and his experimental base was completely shut down by the military. At the S.H.I.E.L.D. base, Nick Fury was fidgeting. Because he just messed with the friend of the worst guy in the world. Although his inner ghost, Black Widow, has helped him prevent the police from searching S.H.I.E.L.D. and himself, he is still in a panic. In his heart, Lu Feng has become an omnipotent being. He was very afraid, so afraid that he would subconsciously feel that Lu Feng had come to the door of S.H.I.E.L.D. Just when Nick thought so. On video at the gate of the S.H.I.E.L.D. base. There really was an existence that made Nick Fury extremely familiar and extremely flustered. But he is a more terrifying guy than Lu Feng. Superman. He's standing at the door of S.H.I.E.L.D. right now. Lu Feng outside the door looked at the surveillance camera with the corner of his mouth raised, and said. Director Nick Fury, I believe you already know who I am, I need your help with something, can you let me go in and talk about it? Nick panicked, and at the moment he saw Superman as if he saw a ghost. No, scarier than ghosts. Ghosts at least have the weakness of being wiped out by sunlight. As for Superman, he can only let himself be bullied and remain indifferent. But can I find an excuse not to open the door for him? The answer is no. Now Superman doesn't know that he and Rose provoked Lu Feng. But if you don't open the door directly, it is a complete confirmation of this matter. So I can only pretend that I don't know anything, and act in front of Superman, so that I can escape. Calm down, Nick. Nick Fury thought to himself. So Nick stepped forward to open the gate of the shield base for Lu Feng. After opening the door, Nick Fury squeezed out a Sima face and looked at Superman Lu Feng. Superman. You just come to S.H.I.E.L.D. asking for my help. Mr. Superman, we don't even know if you're friend or foe. I'm Superman. If you ask your children, you can conclude that Superman is definitely a good person. Lu Feng walked in while talking, still with the corners of his mouth upturned, and said. But Director Nick, why is your forehead covered in sweat on a hot day, did you just go to the hospital? The air conditioner in the office is broken. Tell me if you have anything to do. I'm very busy, Nick said in a bad mood. Superman Lu Feng passed by Nick Furui, walked straight to his office, and sat in his chair. Seeing Lu Feng's behavior, Nick was extremely flustered, but he still calmed down, folded his arms and said. Mr. Superman, even if you are very famous, if you still have this attitude, I think it will be difficult for me to help you. 303, you don't need to be full of malice, Director Nick. 
Lu Feng stretched his feet on the table, and then raised the corner of his mouth and said. Actually, it's not a big deal. It's just that my good friend Lu Feng was recently raped by people from the military and another force. Now I can't find any trace of another faction, so I think you shield should be able to help me investigate. Nick panicked and broke out in cold sweat, but he still said, investigate. Couldn't your friend in the New York Police Department even investigate this? Lu Feng walked to Nick's side, put his hand on Nick's shoulder and said. Yeah, that power is quite powerful, and the police on Lu Feng's side can't find anything. Your shield network is quite large, is it possible that you also know that faction? There are many forces that have done a good job in the aftermath. You say that Lu Feng was offended. Who knows which force it is? Nick Fury was a little trembling when speaking, but he was already trying his best to control himself. Really? Superman Lu Feng and Nick looked at each other closely, it seems that you really don't know anything. Nick and Lu Feng looked at each other, and the more they looked, the more they lied. In the next moment, Lu Feng made a direct move. Lu Feng directly crossed his hands and tore off Nick Fury's arm. Ah! Nick clutched his bleeding arm in pain, looked at Lu Feng in horror, and stammered. What are you doing? You. Dot you are killing innocent people indiscriminately. Whether you killed the wrong person, you and I know very well, right? Nick. Nick who heard this sentence suddenly hesitated. Then a bold idea came to mind. You. Dot you. Superman you are. Lu Feng didn't give Nick a chance to speak out, but punched him straight away. The tearing air sounds instantly reverberated, and Lu Feng's fist blasted away like a missile. The fist hit Nick Fury's head and smashed it directly, blood and brains splattered everywhere. The moment Nick Fury died, the shield base was immediately alarmed. Lu Feng didn't bother to care about it, and directly kicked the titanium alloy gate of the shield base, and walked out swaggeringly. At the moment, Phil Coulson, deputy director of shield, came over after hearing the alarm, and was stunned when he saw this scene. Great gift to Xie Te, so the asterisk 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 is. Superman. Phil Coulson couldn't help but swear. What do we do now? The men asked. Phil Coulson doesn't care, even if it's Superman, it's not okay to come to S.H.I.E.L.D. to kill people. So Phil Coulson fired wildly, and his men also opened fire. But it was useless at all, Lu Feng didn't feel any pain, and the sound of steel clashing could be heard in the air. Lu Feng didn't want to start a killing spree today, so he just took a look at Phil Coulson, and then took off on the spot and left this place. Looking at all this, Phil Coulson couldn't help muttering to himself, what the hell is, what's going on? Another floor, inside Pierce's office. Pierce, who had witnessed all this, watched Superman go away, drank the wine silently and said to himself, Nick, I warned you not to mess with him. After returning to New York, Lu Feng changed his attire before returning to the police station. When they entered, Deadpool and Little Wolf Girl had already been waiting in Lu Feng's office for a long time. Seeing Lu Feng, Deadpool jumped up. Lu Feng, you are so cruel. We all saw from the sky that you sent Superman out. It's clear that you already know which force has provoked you, but you still direct us to run around. Let people eat and sleep in the open every day, wash their faces with tears, and eat soil for a living. I am really tired of being a human being. 555. BB won't give you money to drink and have sex again. Lu Feng warned directly. Deadpool shut his mouth immediately, this is the best way for Lu Feng to control Deadpool. Just kidding, if you can't have sex, what's the fun in life? Deadpool secretly thought. After Lu Feng sat down on the chair, he unhurriedly explained to the two. Yes, I've known for a long time who did it. As for why you were dispatched, I just want to see your abilities. Hearing this, Deadpool jumped up again. What what? Boss, are you right? The ability of Deadpool, the number one mercenary in the universe, still needs to be questioned. Then let me ask you, Mr. Number One Mercenary in the Universe, how did Laura Shengwen get captured right under your noses? Lu Feng was speechless once again passing the death pass. In short, this matter has been resolved, and you don't need to ask again. Lu Feng threw two stacks of US dollars on the table, I'll give you one more day off, and after two days of indulgence, you'll go back to prison consciously. Deadpool happily put away the dollars, looked around and asked again. 
But where's Natasha Romanoff, that glamorous redhead from S.H.I.E.L.D.? We haven't seen him for like a whole day. The corner of Liu Feng's mouth raised, and he said meaningfully. She's where she should be right now. The next day, Liu Feng drove alone again to Haishan prison. After learning Liu Feng's lesson, the guards still let Liu Feng pass through the checkpoints as usual. Entering the gate, Liu Feng came to the last prison. In the prison, Black Widow still hasn't recovered. But after seeing Liu Feng coming, a little panic flashed in his eyes. It seems you can't stand everything, Natasha Romanoff. Black Widow looked at Liu Feng. Did you come here just to make fun of me? I'm not that free, Liu Feng said. I've come to tell you bad news. That's your favorite S.H.I.E.L.D. director Nick Fury. Already dead. Hearing this, Black Widow opened his eyes wide. After a while, he returned to normal as if he had accepted the fact. But it was only mental recovery, and the body did not improve at all. You. Daughter Superman. Hearing this, the corners of Liu Feng's mouth rose. Unexpectedly, Ross Nick's brain is not even as good as Black Widow. But Liu Feng did not respond to Black Widow. Instead, he opened the prison door and came to Black Widow's side. Four hours later, Liu Feng left the prison. And Black Widow is a few steps from last time. Guards, this big brother's punishment method is really different from ordinary people. That's right, I don't know if that woman will become addicted to it. Another guard said. While talking, one of the guards came to his mind and said. How about we punish her for the light of New York? You fooling don't want to die. Another older person scolded directly. Even if you are a prisoner, we can't even touch the things of the New York light. The guard of the upper brain immediately nodded and stopped talking about it. In fact, he was just talking about it. He also understands that no one can touch the things of the New York light. And the ground needs to trouble the sweeping ant in the prison. After solving Black Widow, Lu Feng returned to work in the police station. In the past few days without the troubles of Ross and Nick, Lu Feng is not as busy as before. Plus New York's crime rate is low enough to ignore. So Lu Feng only needs to do calculations every day. Banner is also very quick to get started. After all, he is a Ph. D, and his intelligence should also crush ordinary people. So Lu Feng also entrusted him with the task of replacing the police station with new police equipment. Let Banner be responsible for the inspection and repair of weapons, and more time can teach the police how to use them. This kind of technology, I have never seen. During his research, Banner couldn't help but be amazed by the new police gear. Banner was originally a PhD and a half-scientist. Therefore, Banner's love for technology is as strong as men's love for women. You can study it for a few days and wait until you figure it out before going to the police station to popularize it. Lu Feng said, I still have many, many weapons like this. These are all from S.H.I.E.L.D. before. However, because it is too new and no one has successfully analyzed it, Lu Feng has been left until now. It's all obtained before, maybe it's been stored for too long, and it's almost gathering dust. Lu Feng explained to Banner. It just so happens that you are here, and you have learned something, so I will let you study it and save me from going to a professional. After all, you can't ask the people at S.H.I.E.L.D., right? Nick is belching, and S.H.I.E.L.D. is probably still messing around. And Nick burped because of himself, which caused unnecessary troubles in the past. Banner is studying the weapon, the more he studies, the more amazed he is. It's amazing, it's a work of art. Not even weapons made by Stark Industries are this pretty. The weapons of Stark Industries over the past few years are not so exquisite. At that time, it will become Tony's own battle suit equipment. Lu Feng said secretly. The next few days were peaceful again. After Banner thoroughly researched weapons, he also successfully popularized them throughout the police station. Now almost everyone has a set of such equipment. Lu Feng also stayed at home peacefully these days. Because Wanda had already returned home from a business trip, Lu Feng didn't go to have fun with his old friends recently. Accompanying his wife to do housework at home, he is almost becoming a house husband, while Wanda always lies on the sofa and watches movies. Wanda is a strong woman, but that doesn't mean she doesn't need to be taken care of by others. On the contrary, because of the lack of father's love in childhood, she yearns for father's love and finds a reliable man. After all, since Wanda was sensible, 
Her father, Magneto, has not been with her very well. It is normal to lack fatherly love. It was because of this that Lu Feng successfully attracted Wanda to marry him at the beginning, and after marriage, he also fully played the role of father. Lu Feng just lived a two-person world with his wife. Until one day, someone from Lu Feng's family came to visit. Lu Feng opened the door and saw that it was Betty. He thought Betty was here for something. He hurriedly glanced at his wife in the kitchen, and then said. It won't work recently, my wife is at home, so please bear with me. Unexpectedly, Betty didn't come here at all. She came forward to hold Lu Feng's hand with tears in her eyes. With a choked voice, he said, Lu Feng, I beg you, please let my father go. Lu Feng frowned, walked out of the house and closed the door before talking to Betty. It seems that you already know that something happened to your father. Betty knelt down directly. Lu Feng, I beg you. Please let my father go. Although he is heinous, he is still my father. You can see that I played well with you when we were young, and Liao Nuo Zhao stayed with you for so long before, so you can let him go. Lu Feng looked at Betty coldly. Finally took her hand away and said. No. Betty wanted to continue pleading, but saw Lu Feng's indifferent eyes. Ross messed with me and I have to pay this price. It's useless for anyone to beg for mercy. In the hotel. Turning his head slightly, he saw that Betty beside the pillow had already fallen into a deep sleep. Lu Feng sighed beside him, and silently said. Thinking that my Superman blood can even receive nuclear bombs, but after all, I still can't withstand the sugar-coated shells of women. It seems that it is not a woman's fist that can shift the Eurasian continent by 9 millimeters, but the more deadly coquettish and miserly behavior. Lu Feng lamented being such a slave. Then he took out his mobile phone and called Arthur, the director of the general administration. Arthur, about that Ross Lauren. I was just about to tell you this, Feng. Director Arthur said, we just tried Ross's crimes, and learned that among the crimes committed by Ross, the maximum penalty can be executed directly. Didn't he piss off you and our police? This time, it's just right to behead him in a fair manner. Are you relieved? As long as you give an order, I will help you solve it immediately, and Ross Lauren can be beheaded within three days. Arthur said very excitedly, he thought that Lu Feng who heard the news would be as excited as him. But Lu Feng interrupted, there is no need to execute him. What? Did I hear you right? Arthur was stunned. Knowing Lu Feng for so long, Arthur naturally knows Lu Feng's character of revenge and repayment. If you can die, you will never keep it, if you can become disabled, you will never soften your heart, but it is unheard of to say that there is no need for it like today. Leave him a life during the trial, set an indefinite date, and let him sit in prison. Lu Feng said. Arthur asked suspiciously, but you didn't say that before, what made you change your mind? The other party offered a good price. Or are you selling to others to save face? Arthur was extremely curious until Lu Feng replied. It's cannonballs. Sugar-coated cannonballs. Arthur was taken aback for a moment, then smiled after realizing. It seems that this is what you wash up people often say about a hero's sad beauty. Lu Feng smacked his mouth, a little embarrassed and didn't speak. Who would have thought that the proverbs he taught Arthur would be used by him on himself? I think this is Lu Feng's Arthur in his memory, and after getting enough medical treatment, we can get back to business. In that case, I respect your choice, and I will take care of Ross's affairs. After completing the execution of Ross, Lu Feng ended the call with Arthur. Then he sent a text message to Betty, who was still asleep, on his mobile phone. Said that her father Ross will only go to jail, and nothing will happen. Every time I wake up before the person next to the pillow wakes up, I almost confuse the person next to the pillow. Lu Feng secretly complained. Then Lu Feng put on his clothes and left the hotel. Because I had a spring dinner with Betty last night without my wife behind my back. So Lu Feng had to go back and greet Wanda first to enhance their relationship. After that, Lu Feng put on formal clothes and went to the New York Police Department. There was nothing important today. Lu Feng stayed in the office, turned on the news 88 when he was bored. Turning on the TV, the person who caught the eye was reporting the most familiar figure of Lu Feng. Genius, dreamer, patriot from the Stark family. Tony Stark. I saw Tony's figure in the form of a poster, and the voiceover host was explaining on TV. 
From a young age, Tony Stark, the son of Howard Stark's legendary weapons developer, quickly gained attention for his ingenuity and ingenuity. At the age of four, he made a circuit board, at the age of six, he made his own engine, and at the age of seven, Tien skipped a class and graduated as the best student at MIT. Although Tony disappeared for a while after Howard died in a car accident, Stark Industries was managed by Howard's best friend, Battiston. Battiston, that is, the villain in the Iron Man One Inch movie. The best friend or partner of the protagonist's father is the final villain of the film. This kind of plot has long been used badly in Hollywood movies or superhero comics in the era that Lu Feng traveled to. The news continued on for Tony. Battiston was in charge of the Stark group until the 21 year old Tony returned to Stark Industries and took over as the new president. And with smart weapons, high level robots, and satellite positioning technology, he has led his father's legacy to world renowned heights. This is Tony Stark, the leader of the world's top 10 weapons industrial empires, the new CEO of Stark Industries. A true hero who defends American freedom with weapons. Why is this boy Tony suddenly being widely reported by the media? Lu Feng was a little puzzled. Although Tony is a scientific research genius and a business genius. At a young age, he won various awards in various industries, and at the age of 21, he made a lot of money in the family business. But in the United States, a society where capitalists are everywhere, this experience and achievement are really nothing. Recently, due to the many cooperations between Stark Industries and the military, the military even held a thank you meeting for Tony and Stark Industries. The award will be presented by Colonel James Rhodes, the liaison between Stark Industries and the military, so as to discuss the popularization of Stark Industries' new weapons in the military. I don't know if such cooperation will develop in the military for a long time. Let us wait and see. The news dial ends here. After watching the second half of the news, Lu Feng understood everything. Co-authored this as a Stark Industries ad. Through this negotiation and popularization with the military, it will attract investment and large-scale wholesale from other military forces. Lu Feng recalled in his mind, isn't this the beginning of the story of Iron Man 1? After this thank you meeting, Tony will follow the military people to test the weapons in a few days. And it was there that he was taken hostage by thugs allied with Battiston. Forced to make his new weapon, the Jericho missile, which led to everything that followed, making him Iron Man. Thinking about this, Lu Feng put his feet on the table and thought. Do you want to remind this guy? Although these things have nothing to do with Lu Feng, but Lu Feng is also Tony's cousin. When Lu Feng was struggling, Banner suddenly knocked on the door and came in with an invitation letter in his hand. Brother Feng, people from Stark Industries sent you an invitation letter. It says that you are invited to tonight, an awards show arranged by the military for Tony Stark. This guy actually invited himself to his party, which is quite intentional, Lu Feng thought to himself. Then remind him a little bit. I see, you can go about your business. Lu Feng said to Banner and was ready to go out. Before going out, Banner also reminded. Wait a minute, Brother Feng, are you planning to go to the party like this? Lu Feng did not reprimand Banner to ask less and do more, but simply responded. Definitely dress formally to a party, but not to a casino. Going to the casino. Well, didn't Mr. Stark invite you to the party? You don't know that guy Tony, with his character. Lu Feng said while putting on his coat. He's not going to be at the awards show. Lu Feng went out and drove to the largest casino in the United States under the night. As soon as I entered the door, I saw and heard a voice from a distance, C-D-E-I-Y-S-E. It's mine again. Did I say it? Ma'am, you are my lucky lady tonight. Playboy Tony is hugging left and right at the moment, throwing dice in the casino. Lu Feng walked over the crowd and said. Looks like you're lucky today. President. Tony thought that the person who spoke was the little boss who came to lick it, so he subconsciously replied. Luck is a part of strength, and only the incompetent would attribute it to randomness. But when he saw the face of Lu Feng, the serious intense expression suddenly relaxed, and a smile appeared on his face. Lu Feng, why are you here? Look everyone, this is my dear aunt's child, my eldest cousin, come on, let's hug each other. Knowing that Tony's personality is like this, Lu Feng is already used to doing things like Zhang Yang, so he hugged Tony. 
After that, Tony pushed away the blonde and red-haired beauties on the left and right, and turned to chat with Lu Feng on the other side. Definitely, chatting while gambling. Got it figured out. Come talk to me about business, right? I said before that your New York Police Department's equipment is really outdated. Why don't we trade with Stark Industries for a batch of new police equipment? While gambling, Stark discussed business with Lu Feng, saying, You are an acquaintance, you can get a 10% discount, isn't it bold? I have a suitable one here, let's place an order now and buy a set of 6 or 7,000. The price is a small change, 800,000 US dollars, just ask my assistant to swipe the card, and I will call her over now. Hearing this, Lu Feng responded with raised lips. Your words almost moved me. Unfortunately, the police station has changed a batch of equipment a while ago. For the time being, there is no need to seek cooperation with Stark Industries. This time Tony was dumbfounded. Not doing business. Then what do you ask me for? Gambling. No, you don't look like a gambler. Lu Feng went straight to the point and said, I'm not here this time to do business with you, nor to catch up with you, I'm here to remind you. Remind. Tony was a little puzzled, and then smiled. Remind me to make less money, don't lose myself. If you really have this plan, it's already too late bro, I've exceeded the standard no matter the money or myself. Lu Feng didn't bother to pay attention to Tony's indecency, and continued. In three days, you will go to the test site under the leadership of the military. You're going to test a new weapon that's about to be traded in, the Jericho missile. You're pretty well informed, but what do you want to remind? Tony still asked nonchalantly. Aren't you worried that the military will take away the weapons and not pay you? Lu Feng replied unhurriedly. No, I mean, on that day, your life may be in danger. Tony was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said, Are you joking, Lu Feng? Lu Feng took a sip of the whiskey in his hand and said, Anyway, it's better not to go, otherwise you may die somewhere. Tony sneered and said, How is it possible? Is the military here to eat shit? My safety will definitely be guaranteed. Do you know how good Colonel James Rhodes has a good relationship with us? He can call out enough troops to protect me at any time. Tony was so conceited that he didn't take Lu Feng's reminder seriously. If you can trust the military so much, don't blame me for not reminding you if you were arrested when I didn't tell you. After Lu Feng finished speaking, he was about to leave. Before he left, he kindly added a few words. Be careful with your partner Battiston, they are all businessmen, you know it well. After Lu Feng left, Tony stayed alone for three or four minutes, and then went back to gambling. Three days later, the military sighed. As long as such a missile is launched, I can guarantee that all the enemies will only dare to stay in the cave. This is, a new product of the Stark Industries, Freedom, series. Standing in front of the military front, Tony raised his hand, indicating that it was ready to launch. The opponent followed suit and fired thick bullets. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned, Jericho missile. As soon as the words fell, a missile landed in the valley behind Tony. All of a sudden, the waves behind Tony directly set off a large cloud of sand and dust. Its scope is terrifying. The test was completed, followed by Tony's polite conversation with the military. After the experiment, Tony also made a video call to Buddy Stan, the former president of Stark Industries. Hey Tony, how's the experiment going? Of course everything is going well, and I'm preparing to return. Tony replied. Okay, then I will form a queue for you tonight to celebrate your successful test today. The two hung up the phone after talking, and Tony also recalled what Lu Feng said at the end to make himself pay attention to Battiston. Tony has always been wary of this guy, but he has always felt that he is a person without guts. Before leaving, James Rhodes, who is the liaison between Stark Industry and the military, stepped forward and said to Tony. Tony, you performed well today, go back to rest early, we should go. Well, don't forget what I told you when I came here, Tony responded. Then Rhodes and Tony parted ways, and before leaving, he sent a few more cars to follow him according to Tony's instructions. I was still wondering in my heart, when did Tony become so afraid of death? After getting into the car, Tony felt panicked for no reason. Because the range at the moment is very quiet, like the calm before the storm. 
The quieter he is, the more frightened he is, and he will vaguely think of Lu Feng's warning. Seeing Tony's flustered expression, the soldier sitting beside him thought to himself that the rich boy was timid, and comforted him. Mr. Stark, don't be nervous, our military will protect your safety. That's right, our military in the United States doesn't live for nothing, and there is no possibility of terror in this kind of place. Boom. As soon as the soldier finished speaking, a missile hit a military jeep in front of Tony with such precision. The missile exploded, followed by the firing of bullets. Seeing this, the soldiers raised their guns to fight. But the comers were so vicious, Mie Li was so ferocious that Tony couldn't resist sending more soldiers. Tony cringed with his head in the car, and constantly read. It's fooling true. What Lu Feng said is true. I should fooling listen to Lu Feng. I shouldn't fooling be here. Fortunately, Tony still listened to Lu Feng's persuasion, and arranged more people to protect himself before coming. So much so that Tony was able to stay safely in the jeep, not sure how long, but at least not dead. Now Tony is desperate, and he only hopes that he can escape here alive. The rich kids are quite afraid of death. On the side of the terrorists who attacked Tony, the leader of the villains found out the number of bodyguards Tony brought. But what's the use of any more? Tony Stark, will the military send everyone to protect you? Nope. But I will send enough or even all of them to catch you. This is the gap. Then the terrorist leader said to those around him, call more people. I'm going to see Tony Stark and his bodyguards completely lose their ability to escape within five minutes. On Tony's side, he vaguely felt that there were more and more people on the opposite side, and couldn't help but yelled. The soldiers on Tony's side were killed one by one, from the back row to the front row, and then to his own car, and finally even the soldiers driving were shot dead. Tony from at the moment didn't care about other things, so he had to run with oil on his feet. Tony pushed open the car door and ran out of the car, then circled behind the boulder for cover. However, the next moment, a Jericho missile from Stark Industries falls in front of him. The source of, Stark Industries, is also jokingly written on the missile. F-A-F-A-F-A. Tony was about to run away, but it was too late, and the missile exploded directly in front of him. Fragments sank into his chest. I do not know how long it has been. Tony opened his eyes dazedly in a dimly lit place. Inexplicably, there is an extra one on the chest, a round glowing strange thing like a light bulb wrapped with wires. Tony was panicked and helpless, another scientist beside him stepped forward to comfort him. This is an electromagnet device that prevents the shrapnel in your body from touching important parts. It can save your life. After a while, the leader of the terrorist led people to open the door, and spoke a foreign language to Tony with hands and feet. The scientist next to him hastily translated. He said, Welcome, Mr. Tony Stark, the most famous murderer in American history. He brought you here because he wanted you to build the Jericho missile that you demonstrated in front of the military in this cave. Here are all the materials for making the missile. After the missile was built, he also asked you to make a bill of materials, so that you can start working now. After the matter is over, he will let you go. After the translation, the terrorist leader squeezed out a smile and held out his hand to Tony. Tony also held it with a smile on his face, and then said with a smile, no, he won't let me go. The scientist also looked at the leader and smiled while responding to Tony. Yes, he won't, and you may die after making it. Tony looked at the leader's face, and an unprecedented idea came to his mind. Building Jericho missiles for them like a dog. Nope. What he did was make the sons of a pay. At the same time, in a hotel in New York, the United States. Since leaving the casino, Lu Feng stayed with his old friend Michaela until the morning of the third day. As always, the person next to the pillow didn't wake up but Lu Feng woke up. Because he was bored and it was still early, Lu Feng turned on the TV news. But found that the news report was still about Tony. Only this time it's not as glamorous. The current president of Stark Industries, Tony, disappeared on his way to the suburbs to test missiles with the military, and his whereabouts are still unknown. Next we will come to interview, Colonel James Rhodes who is in charge of this outing, let us cut the camera to the outdoor reporter Lisa. Looking at the news reports, Lu Feng didn't feel any disturbance in his heart. Instead, he cursed, it's really stupid not to listen to persuasion. 
Although this is the beginning of the story of Iron Man 1, it does not mean that Tony must go through the cave to become Iron Man. The time when his metamorphosis is worthy of the title of Iron Man is at the end of the first part of the Avengers Alliance, and he realizes that he is a hero after sacrificing himself for others. The matter of the cave just changed him from a playboy who likes to sell arms to a playboy who likes to build battle suits. When Lu Feng was thinking secretly like this, his phone rang suddenly. Lu Feng saw that it was his adoptive mother Elena. After connecting, Elena's voice came. Feng, did you see the news? Your cousin Tony was killed. I know, I've warned him before. Lu Feng responded unhurriedly. I said that his life would be in danger. He was too arrogant to pass, and he couldn't blame others. But now that something like this has happened, think of a way. The adoptive mother on the other end of the phone said anxiously. No matter how you say it, he is still my big brother's child, your cousin. Mom knows that you have the ability to save him, so you can sell your mother to save face. Lu Feng held his forehead slightly, thinking that this was his adoptive mother after all, it was really hard to refuse, and said. Asking for flowers. I see. I will send someone to bring him back. You don't have to panic. After hanging up the phone, Lu Feng couldn't help complaining, why do I always fall on women? After that, Lu Feng called Banner again and asked him to take Deadpool and Little Wolf Girl to the police station to wait for him. When they arrived at the police station, Lu Feng told Deadpool and Little Wolf Girl the mission and what happened. Hearing this, Deadpool couldn't help complaining. Isn't it Lu Feng? You actually took on this job of rescuing the big boss. Although the bonus will definitely be a lot. But I thought that you would only do things that are beneficial to you. I didn't expect you to take on outsourcing. Sure enough, money can turn ghosts around, and I, a mercenary, can be regarded as returning to my essence. Lu Feng returned a look, and Deadpool immediately shut up. At this time, Laura the little wolf girl asked, but how did we find Tony Stark? Yeah yeah, we don't even know where the terrorists who captured him came from, Deadpool responded. Tony dropped a person's file on the desk. The two opened it and saw that it was Stark's former president, Battiston, the big boss in, Iron Man 1. Zero. Investigate him, study his direction in the past three days and what forces he has made deals with. Lu Feng said and took out another device. After determining which villain it is, take this electromagnetic wave scanning instrument and look for the small arc reactor. The reactor can emit 3 billion joules per second, and it is easy to sense. If you find this thing, you can find Tony. Because this so-called arc reactor is what Tony put on his chest at the beginning. Hearing this, Deadpool was extremely surprised and said. Lu Feng, I misunderstood you. I thought you were only good at dealing with criminals. I didn't expect you to know this. You don't come from some kind of MIT, do you? Lu Feng definitely understands this. After all, Iron Man is a significant first movie in the Marvel Universe. As soon as it was released, Iron Man's cool high-tech battle suit quickly caused an uproar in China. Therefore, Lu Feng has a little understanding of a series of nouns that are described in the movie, including the things on Paini's chest. But there was no need for Lu Feng to explain this to Deadpool, so he directly said angrily. Whether I understand or not is not the point, the point is that the two of you who performed the task understood. Understood, I just use this instrument like mining to go to the suburbs to detect it. Deadpool replied triumphantly. Lu Feng thought to himself, actually it's not too much difference. Then the two set off, and Banner also came in with a dazed face, and left with a dazed face. Banner, who has a PhD, can understand the electromagnet and arc reactor that Lu Feng just said. Don't know anything about Tony Stark, military cooperation, Jericho missiles. After all, he is not a mercenary like Deadpool and Wolf Girl. Banner is a normal person, only because of the gamma ray radiation and serum, he has the ability to transform into Hulk. After Banner left, Lu Feng thought about Tony again. Tony's death belongs to the original plot in the movie. But it's also because the timeline of the Iron Man movie is at this time, so the story unfolds. This shows that when Tony becomes Iron Man, the storylines of other heroes will follow closely. The story of the Marvel movie universe will then begin. If this is the case, then the next New York and even the Earth will be full of disasters. Can New York not be so troubled? 
Loki on the front foot, Ultron on the back foot, and a purple sweet potato spirit waiting to snap his fingers somewhere in the universe. There are even grievances and resentments between superheroes. Although before the Avengers Alliance 3, no one died in the Civil War. But the heroes are fine. The New York under Liu Feng's feet was about to be ruined. This made Liu Feng think. Although it's easy to smash this one and two villains is the incarnation of Superman. But the villains don't come together, but come to Earth every now and then. Then blankly waiting for him to defeat one by one, this is too much time wasting. Fly straight to Asgard and the Titans and break the necks of Loki and Thanos. It's not impossible, it's just that these two goods don't know where to stay in this timeline. And there is no clear root of Asgard and Titans in movies or comics. If Liu Feng really wants to find it, he has to search like a headless chicken in the universe. I don't know how much time it takes. Liu Feng, who was looking for a quieter life, felt a little torn. Otherwise, I can move by myself, and save Qunyuan Bishantian. But New York is so bustling. I'm still building a piece of the sky here. I'm really reluctant to leave at this time. Lu Feng said secretly again. 380. Just when Lu Feng was struggling, Lu Feng suddenly felt that the surroundings suddenly became quiet. No, not only the office, but the entire police station became quiet. Lu Feng narrowed his eyes slightly, and felt a strange aura. Lu Feng uses Superman's see-through eye to scan the entire building directly. Lu Feng scanned the entire New York Police Department with a perspective eye like an X-ray scan, but did not find any strange people. However, during the scan, it was found that other people outside the office were motionless, which felt weird. Time paused. Lu Feng came to a conclusion and was puzzled. This timeline can have the ability to control time. When Lu Feng said this, a portal behind him quietly opened. Lu Feng turned around quickly. Unexpectedly, there was a person in a yellow robe inside the portal. Without saying a word, he hit Lu Feng's chest with a palm. The opponent thought they would directly beat Lu Feng to Soul Astral. However, the result was nothing. Seeing this, Lu Feng directly clenched his fist and punched the opponent's abdomen. The fist wind roared, and all the documents on Lu Feng's desk were blown away, the speed was like a missile. The moment Lu Feng swung his fist violently, the yellow robed man exploded into pieces the moment it touched the opponent. It's not a corpse, but it's really turned into pixel like fragments. Lu Feng knew it was a fake, and was about to find the enemy's figure. Suddenly, a glowing golden whip swung from Lu Feng's side. The golden whip bound Lu Feng. Immediately afterwards, two textured geometric figures approached from the top and bottom of Lu Feng to the middle. The two shapes are like circular saws with strong energy. The corners of Lu Feng's mouth raised when he was tied up, and then he squeezed his hands hard, and all the golden things around him exploded and turned into pieces. At this time, the man in yellow reappeared behind Lu Feng, and said unhurriedly. It seems that you are different from my impression of Superman. You are not afraid of magic. Lu Feng turned around as if he had expected all this, shrugged and said. You have read superhero comics beyond my expectation, ancient one magician. The person in the yellow robe took off his hat, and the person who came was the sorcerer supreme ancient one. After listening to Lu Feng's words, ancient one showed a puzzled expression between his brows. You know me. That just confirms my suspicions. You're not from this world, are you? Lu Feng didn't hide Ancient One's plan, so he replied. The United States is a country of immigrants. I immigrated from another world. Is it normal? Ancient One said to Lu Feng with a solemn atmosphere. I'm not curious where you came from, or how you got here. I'm more interested in your energy and what you do. Because you are too strong, you are the biggest variable in this universe. Ancient One is still serious and authentic. I am an Asgardian from Earth, and my duty is to prevent a powerful existence like you from disrupting the order of time and space. Hearing this, Lu Feng also said seriously. I don't have the time to disturb the order of the universe. I've been in New York all this time, and I'll make whoever messes with me pay, it's that simple. Ancient One smiled slightly, and then said unhurriedly. But you did something three days ago that almost changed the entire trajectory of history. You're trying to stop Tony Stark from going to the test site, and you know what that's going to bring. If Tony Stark hadn't been captured, he wouldn't have changed himself, he wouldn't have become a leader. 
there will be no one who has been influenced by him and made a difference in the future. This approach will naturally snowball, and everything will develop beyond the unexpected. Ancient One continued, in Nick Fury before this. If you kill him, it will also greatly affect the subsequent timeline. This is not a small matter, and it will cause a series of butterfly effects. It turns out that you came to the NYPD to warn me because of these things. Lu Feng said. Then Lu Feng suddenly asked. You don't like me interfering with the normal timeline of this universe. I definitely don't have to interfere, but there is a prerequisite. The prerequisite is that you don't mess with me. Otherwise, no matter how much trouble killing the other party will cause, if I think he deserves to die, he must die. Lu Feng reminded Ji Yu Dao. Ancient One Magician, you have to figure out the situation. I respect you because you are the Earth Asgardian in this universe and the Sorcerer Supreme, not because I fear you. You think I'm an uncontrollable variable. If you want me to stop interfering with the timeline of this universe, it's fine, but you have to pay attention to your tone. Lu Feng clenched his fist, and in an instant, the biological force field from Superman unfolded and spread to all directions. I'm not the other low-level characters you've seen, you know my ability best. I'm not some villain who wants to conquer the universe, I just want to ensure my life is safe and stable. If you want to prevent me from destroying the timeline, you should discuss it with me. Instead of using this condescending attitude and using a warning tone to me like now. The oppressive force released by Lu Feng instantly shocked Ancient One. It was also at this time that Ancient One realized how outrageous Lu Feng's existence was. But this also proves that Lu Feng is just a person who has a vengeance, and to some extent, he is not a bad person. To test whether Lu Feng is a villain or not, that's why Ancient One is here. After getting the confirmation, Inichi still responded with a smile on his face. What you said is very reasonable. I was sloppy. I apologize for my behavior just now. Seeing that Ancient One had a good attitude, Lu Feng also returned to normal. Then he sat on his own chair, and then stretched out his hand to signal Ancient One to sit down too. Ancient One sat down, kindly like an elder, she said. I also understand what you mean, and you didn't deliberately destroy the timeline. So what you did before doesn't count, and I still hope that you will not interfere with the timeline too much in the future. Here Ancient One is still used, don't use these four words too much, the attitude can be said to be very sincere and respectful of Lu Feng. Because the multi-universe is very dangerous, and we can easily cause chaos in the multi-universe by changing the timeline at will. By that time, all kinds of weird Luli people or things will come to this universe we live in. This is not what I want to see, and I believe that you don't want to let this happen, do you? After Ancient One finished speaking, Lu Feng thought for a while. He definitely knows what Ancient One meant by multi-universe. This concept of parallel universes has almost been used badly in American comics. Whether it is DC or Marvel, there will always be a series in which a certain hero from a parallel universe slaughters the universe. Assuming that Lu Feng is really desperate to modify the timeline, maybe something big will happen. So Lu Feng responded, what magician said is indeed reasonable, I will think about it. Well, it looks like we had a great conversation, and I hope you will remember our conversation today when you try to modify the timeline next time. After Ancient One finished speaking, he stood up and prepared to leave. If you have time, you can also visit me in Kamar Taj, Tibet. After all, you also have Chinese blood, and you are destined to be with me. Maybe one day, magic will choose you. As a native of China, Lu Feng only thinks that the phrase, Ancient One, is a polite phrase similar to inviting you to dinner another day. After saying these words, Ancient One opened the portal and left here unhurriedly. The moment Ancient One re-entered the portal, the entire New York Police Department regained its voice. The ability to stop from time to time, I have to say it's pretty good. Lu Feng is slightly interested in Ancient One's Eye of Agamotto, aka the Time Gem. But it was only to the extent of interest, Lu Feng didn't want this thing that much. As for what Ancient One said just now, Lu Feng still thought about it for a while. In the end, Lu Feng still felt that it was too troublesome to interfere, and he was too lazy to take care of it in 1.1. But Lu Feng didn't bother to change what he was already doing, so he prepared to wait for the news of Deadpool and the wolf girl. The camera came to Tony. 
Just like in the movie, Tony apparently promised the terrorists to make Jericho missiles. In fact, he secretly used the materials given to him by the terrorists to make a trump card that could escape from here. This is the first number of all the armor that Tony will show in the Marvel Universe in the future, Mark 1. This is Tony's killer ace, but there is still a lot of shortcomings due to insufficient manufacturing time. The function is not comprehensive, and the power system can only last about 15 minutes. The main weapon is the flamethrower in the left hand, and a few missiles in the right hand. The disadvantage is that many key operating belts are exposed, so the conveyor belt is easy to break after being shot. After the leg is broken, you can't move, so you can only move with your own strength. But if it is only used to deal with the group of terrorists, it is more than enough. Tony thought so, and when Tony put on the armor, the scientist was ready to help him start it. Bang! Tony's locked door was suddenly blasted open. The terrorists surrounded Tony one after another, and even killed the scientist beside him with one shot. Tony collapsed immediately, and he almost escaped by himself. Thanks for watching, subscribe and support my channel.